when you look at this press release they put out, uh, and, and this is all reading between the tea leaves and maybe because I've been in Washington a while, but Steve Bannon was named first, and then came White House Chief of Staff, Ryan Priebus. And I think that's a real signal that not only is he going to be a senior counselor, but he's going to have a seat at every single table mm -hmm. that the White House Chief of Staff has a seat at. Uh, don't forget, these are people who have not served in a White House before. So there is no sense of how it ought to work um, other than what they're being told. Uh, I think that this really gives us an indication that it's going to work a different way. And that uh, we all know the duties of the White House chief of staff and how important that is to any president because he's the gatekeeper. He or she is the gatekeeper. But I think what we're seeing with uh, in Steve Bannon is that he might be the, the whisperer uh, to the president. I, I was told in doing my reporting on this earlier this week that um, this past week that the that Steve Bannon in many ways is uh, like Donald Trump in that winning is what's important, and that he, even though obviously he has his uh, uh, pedigree from the right wing of the Republican Party, that he wants to succeed, and that is where Donald Trump, uh, that is where Donald Trump sits. Mm -hmm. And so I think that uh, these two men, I mean, obviously White House Chief of Staff seems is the plum mm -hmm. job here, but don't underestimate the impact and the importance of the Steve Bannon appointment as well, mm -hmm. because I think he is going to have Donald Trump's ear all the time.